How are we doing folks? Welcome back to another episode of Deb Cold. Uh, I am in Pitstone again and this is an absolute cracker of a little church. Gothic styled. Um, I believe it to be a uh, to be a uh, 13th century. Um, first of all, somewhere around 1250. Um, yeah, so it is the Church of St Mary's in Pitstone. Uh, it is no longer used. It's not actually abandoned. It is actually just uh, classed as um, unused, or I can't remember the word they actually use there now. Um, so yeah, you, you, apparently the keyholder lives nearby, so you uh, obviously, if it wasn't for lockdown, you'd probably be able to go down and find the keyholder and uh, and get in and have a look, because there are some fantastic things inside, um, some of which I'll go through when I'm walking around. So yeah, let's have a, let's all wander around here. I just wanted to get in here before it gets dark, because um, the uh, very little street lights around here, so I'd imagine it's going to be uh, virtually pitch black so you can see the place it's uh, this lovely limestone church in all its glory and uh, and it's got some fantastic headstones here as well so we'll have a look and we'll see you in a bit ta-da So folks, I've uh, come round to the uh, the back of the building here uh, and we'll take a walk around so you can see all the way around it. I'll try not to bore you with too many details, although personally I find them a bit uh, quite interesting. As I say, there's some fantastic gravestones here. Uh, but it's a, essentially it's a 13th century church. Uh, limestone, flint and a bit of brickwork uh, in the build. Uh, uh, dated uh, around about uh, around about 12, 12 uh, 1250 um, no longer used classed uh, classed as no longer used uh, but not abandoned um, so obviously they, they must have plans to back to uh, to use it at some point uh, and I believe there's a, there's a bit of a museum inside which is a I'd like to come back and have a look at it myself to be fair uh, on the inside because some very interesting things um, there is a, um, a a writing desk inside there, a sloped writing desk, strange kind of like detail. I'll post a few pictures along the way just so you can see it. Um, but it's like a, yeah, it's almost like a coffin shaped sloped writing desk and apparently used to wear, uh, used to hold chained books uh, to be read or signed or whatever else. <laughs> Um, the interior, obviously, as as churches go around around these times, the interior has changed and added on to as the as, as it moves through the centuries. But uh, there are some medieval um, bits and pieces in there as well, including um, uh, some medieval tiles, uh, which would be interesting to see, with some depictions on them. One of them actually depicts a demon. I think this is below, uh, this is known to be from some kind of Saxon period. Not original, I don't think, because obviously the Sexton period is a bit earlier. It has a font inside of the building. Um, probably dates to around, well, so I've read anyway, um, 1190. So actually older than the church itself, but uh, obviously there was uh, they were taken from various other churches as they were probably demolished. Or the font is made of a natural stone called Tottenhoe stone, uh, which is apparently a very hard form of chalk. Um, again, it'd be nice to see that. Uh, I shall definitely pop back one day and uh, grab some film footage of that one. Inside the uh, inside the building again, uh, you've got some um, some uh, fantastic uh, Elizabethan and uh, Jacobean uh, style uh, woodwork. It apparently also has a, uh, a 15th century uh, persina um, decorated with, with the head of a green man. Um, over the uh, over the pediment um, in the pediment over the wall. <laughs> over the chancel arch is a uh, is a royal coat of arms uh, to George the uh, George the Second. Um, set between painted texts of the Lord's Prayer. Uh, apparently hanging in the uh, in the chancel 
on a chancel pillar is a, is a rather extraordinary medieval relic of a um, of a of a enamelled map of the Pitstone area. Um, it's possibly the work of a, of a monk from the Ashridge Priory. Yeah, I think you'll uh, I think you'll agree that this is actually a cracking church, and uh, you know I've come here tonight. Um, but much like the uh, the other church uh, that I went to when I was sitting on my bench uh, freezing me bits and pieces off for uh, for quite some time, the uh, there's no ghost stories attached to this church whatsoever. Uh, not that I can find anyway. Um, so you know, I've come here for a bit of a ra ramble around, and uh, when it gets dark, we'll uh, we'll get a few bits of equipment out, and uh, we shall see what what happens. But uh, yeah, so hopefully you enjoy it. And I'll see you after dark. folks so it's uh, more or less dark there now to be fair I'm gonna um, I'm gonna venture in and uh, I'll do a bit of a bit of a ramble through with the air uh, and uh, see, see what we can pick up if anything at all remember only truth that's it you can probably hear there's a uh, shed loads of birds and obviously the air uh, the dusk time call. I've already heard loads of things moving around in there. It's uh, if you've got a wooded area, just to my uh, just to my left hand side here. So there's plenty of wildlife around. Um, but you know, we've got a few uh, got a few of the old favourites here, and uh, let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can get into them. Let's have a ramble through. Every single time I come to one of these places, this uh, changes. It's funny how the night always changes the air, uh, changes the mood. It really is quite a nice church. I am calling out to any spirits at all. It may reside in this church or graveyard. I am uh, only here to wander through. I'd be very interested if anybody can uh, talk to me through this. Um... Jesus, it's Christ. And he freaking jumped on my bloody skin there. Bloody crow on top of the air. Uh, crow just up there, just left it to perch. Yeah, great beginning. I'm already got the flaming jitters. It was perfectly fine until then. Christ, I'm such a wimp. Hell. 
hell. I very much doubt there's any kind of hell in this place. It's just too nice. I, know, I haven't said this for a while actually, but if anybody sees nothing that uh, I invariably don't see, which is, happens extremely often, then uh, put me a comment down below. Atmosphere. Yes, I would definitely give you that one, that one. This place has got an atmosphere. Definitely after dark. Just heard something move there by that tree. Again, you're in the you've got fields there. Uh, fenced off, could be rabbits, any of them. The main road just across there, across the other side of the field. I'm sure we're hey. there. Give me a name. Give me a name, please. Cracky, just don't forget that quick. That is an absolute belter of a uh, of an old gravestone. Beautiful. Dorothy. Dorothy. Is Dorothy the name? If Dorothy's here, please come on down. <laughs> so the name Dorothy. If there's a Dorothy here. Silent. Silent as the grave, as they say. Earth is in there. Little there. Uh... Shit, the bed, man. For God's sakes. Freaking birds. Dorothy. Dorothy again. Let's look at the uh, little caretaker's area. Oops. Sometimes. Sometimes what? Right, I'm calling out to uh, calling out again to any spirits on the uh, on the spirit talker app before. There was mention of a twice of a lady called Dorothy. Is there a Dorothy here? Now I know just before, and obviously you're not going to see it because uh, the um, I've got the uh, I've got the rem mel rem out and the two um, uh, sparkly balls. But um, one of the sparkly balls just um, lit up uh, literally before I just started uh, before I start filming this. Um, but you know, that's just uh, that's just how it goes sometimes. Not not that not to say, of course, that that was anything anything paranormal. But you know, a bit of interest. Flaming car sounds terrible. I was taken to the knacker's yard. If there's any spirits here at all, could you please come make yourself known? Either uh, give me a tap on one of the graves, um, set up one of the devices on the floor. I'd be very grateful. <laughs> I'm right next to this uh, this magnificent um, leaning skull and crossbones type uh, gravestone here. It's absolutely magical. It's like something of a Steven Spielberg film. Apparently they were made 
around there, uh, around the 1600s. Um, they uh, were quite common, apparently, amongst uh, especially more the more more the more Celtic side of things. I suppose the spirit dog. I did say Welsh before. Um, but the skull and crossbones is nothing like you know nothing um, uh, eel or anything like that. Or it was just a uh, a symbol that um, that reminded people to visit it. You are uh, not mortal. You are not uh, around forever. You are just totally mortal. Don't worry, I'm smiling now, but uh, believe you me. Oh yes, I just noticed. Let's see if we can get this. very bright even though it's only like a you know, like a third of a moon there it's a waxing moon yeah them geese stupid me I've just been recording for the last five well I think I've been recording for the last five minutes when I realised I haven't been recording True. for the last five minutes Yes, thanks very much, that is true. What a goon. Um, if, um, if Dorothy is here, that was mentioned before, could you please come forward? It's so still. You said before. Pagan. Pagan. Strange you should say that. I don't know it's strange, but obviously the land round here is very old. You've got uh, Ickneal Way runs very close by here. One of the uh, one of the four oldest roads or paths in the country. If Dorothy is here, could she um, appear behind me? Hate. I don't need to hate. I'm only here to say hello. I'm not here to uh, disrupt anything. <laughs> no need for hate. Is there anyone here at all? Anybody else here, apart from the possibility of Dorothy being Us. here? Us. <laughs> Can you give me a number? If us is a number of people. Give me a number of people that are here. Number of spirits, sorry. Decide to go quiet. Amanda. Amanda sounds more like a modern name, to be fair. I'd be surprised if Amanda is on any of these gravestones. Possibly some of the new ones over there. I 
dog is here with help me on me. Give me the friggin' heebie jeebies. I can hear things moving. But uh, as I said before, surrounded by always. always what? Always surrounded by animals. Or always surrounded by spirits. And we don't even really know it. Some people would argue that we're always surrounded by spirits. We just never know they're there. What strange noises over here? Sue. Sue? Well, I'm, sure, I'm sure Sue is not that strange noise that I can hear over there. Sounds distant and mechanical. If you were killed, who were you killed by? How did you die? Uh, again, like the other place, there's uh, a few live buildings around here. I can see the farmhouse in the distance, and they can probably see my the glow coming from this camera if they look out the window. Last thing I want is a uh, PC plug showing up, won't know what I'm doing. I explain myself, then I'm actually the hit hunting ghosts. That'll go down well. I think I'll take a bit of a wander down further, further down the way. I'll see you sitting on park benches. In a bit, folks. S box. Right. Canning. FM. That's in lasses. That's right. There. Uh, just by the entrance of the church there now. Got the uh, mail rem next to me. A couple of cat balls hanging around. Let's see if we can get any kind of like uh, reaction. A bit of spirit box. Is there anyone here that would like to come make themselves known to me? Spirits, please. like to come towards me, come towards the sound of my voice. Talk into the microphone and the camera. Um, maybe manipulate the uh, spirit box I have with me. If there's anyone here, could you give me a yes? Again, it could be as per the other church, there could well be nothing here. Was there something there at that other church? Some very strange things came through, and I didn't even realise it actually come through. I invariably don't hear anything, or see anything. Anything on this radio, and unless I go into the edit, I don't really hear it until the edit. 
Those noises coming from the windmill in the last video. Never heard them until the edit. Right. I can see the I can see the piece of concrete I'm stood on. Temperature dropped away a bit there now. There's a slight breeze I can feel. It's the coldness of the air. It's not that cold though. Not like it was a few weeks ago. Fairly sheltered here as well. Come on, set off one of these devices, please. All you got to do is go near it. Don't be afraid of the beep that it makes. Don't be afraid of the lights that it uh, that it causes. Oh, whilst I remember, I can't believe I even forgot this. I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to now getting me past 500 subscribers. I can't believe it. Why on earth? Well, it's, I'm very humbled by it. 500 people willing to subscribe to my channel. And I'm very grateful for it. Thank you extremely much. Let's try and get to a thousand. That would be a huge thing for me. I mean, it's 500, 500 is huge anyway. But a thousand would be would be would be superb. I can do a few different things with the uh, YouTube channel then as well. Once I reach a thousand, change it slightly. Let's hope we get there one day. Right, enough of me rambling. Let's get on with this. Come on, spirits. Touch one of these devices. Move them. Touch me. I don't know what I'd do if you touch me, but well, I have a pretty good idea of it. I, I know, I know what I'd do. I can't see a bat beyond this camera now. See the big tree line of the wooded area just over there. In the moon, that's nice. Turn this off. Any more spirits want to come through here? Yeah, I'm going to turn this off in a minute. Because I can't listen to this noise, white noise all the time. Talk me through the white noise, please. gentlemen I'm gonna call it night uh, I'll have a look at the footage when I get back get into the editing suite and uh, see what it's all about but uh, I don't think there's really been anything at all as was the other place just a very picturesque and old church so I will see you hopefully very very soon on the next one don't forget to hit that thumbs up button Subscribe, like, do all them wonderful sherry things you always do. And again, hugely appreciate everything that uh, all the times that you've watched. And uh, long may it continue. See you soon, folks. Bye bye.